Rock you know rock. what? Shit happens. Life happens. Rock so you gotta rock. do Well, I want to mention that some jobs that other females could be in. Whatever you need. Yeah, whatever your police officer, truck driver, and. Okay. Hi, guys. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Emily and Raven show. I'm Raven. And I'm Emily, and we're going to talk today. Oh, is this Haley? Yeah. Hi, I, I brought her on the show. We <laughs> met in September. We're bet we're good friends. Yeah, no uh, Yes, we actually met at a, a tip industry party downtown. Yes, we did, which was really um, interesting, and yes. we made some cool connections. And we were talking about different so. things in our life that brought us you know, stuff we've got in common yes. over that night. So. You guys gonna see them, the movies? Yeah. In like, mm -hmm. I think two weeks, a tip yeah. recently, oh. festival thing is free under 25. Yeah. Really? So That's awesome. Yeah. Recent, wow. Last night, I, well, I saw Lady Bird recently, which I was... I have seen it. I gotta go and see it then. It's, it's nominated for an Oscar. It's, oh. it's incredible. It's you really worth it. seeing. Nice. Also, three billboards, uh, Ebbing, Misery, Misery? Misery? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think. it it's so it's so it's so well. Oh, and like, here's Eli on the way. Hello, Eli. He's walking in. I'm just introducing him before I come in. Come in. So sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that he is late. He's making a big dramatic okay, entrance. Okay, let's, let's continue. No worries. Anyway, continuing on. So we're um, here to talk. You going to continue? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Continue. So it was a very good movie. Uh, it was very heavy, emotional. Um, lots of. Uh, life lessons, uh, great character development, so I highly, I don't want to give any spoilers away because it's one of those movies where if you say uh, one part you'll give away like the entire plot, but it was it was really well done, so I highly recommend going and seeing those movies. Awesome, I gotta see yeah. them with you. We gotta make a time to hang out with that. Well, there's a few mentioned. Oscar nominees, yeah. and I, I still have a couple on okay. my list. So nice, we'll, definitely... well then let me know. We gotta mm -hmm. hang out. All right. And, oh, I guess I should say, yes. uh, I go to Humber, uh, Lakeshore Campus, uh, for acting for film and television. So. And I want yes. to do that program before. Yeah. I never did yet. I auditioned for it, and um, what happened? Oh, I know. They didn't like the fact that I uh, had a GED. And did they look at your grades differently, GED versus yeah, high school Yeah, GED is retardism. Yeah, I know. And, and you're, you're a high school dropout, no, so you really want to talk, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Just insult you guys me. are like the perfect married couple. I know, right? Well, I was trying to say, now, yeah. and, and even like, we're going with discrimination. Yes. That's all. That's a big thing too. Those people, especially mm -hmm. in the states, who all go get their GED, they're they're looked down upon versus the ones who actually get their high school diplomas. Here too, the same thing. GED is yeah. pretty much just like you gotta push. And right? I think what infuriates me about that is that if you are willing to go and get the credits that you need, and you are a you are, you're a smart person, you have the drive mm -hmm. to go and get your GED out of uh, or or get your diploma. Yeah. It shouldn't matter because they are. E they're equal in, yeah. in equivalent to to what you know and your skill set and what you're learning. Yeah. Yeah. And in exactly. GEDs, they actually have them at like Georgian College and other colleges. Yeah, they, do. they do exactly what you would do um, getting like your high school diploma. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it's, and can I say yeah. something? Sorry, it's a well-known fact. Yeah. I read this before I even <clears throat> started studying for my GED that 70% of grade 12s in high school would fail the GED. That's a well known fact. Anyway. And I yeah. believe it also depends on like who you were taught by. Mm -hmm. Some people yeah. struggle finishing high school because of a lot of different reasons. Family like problems. you can't just discriminate and That's say right. that there's one type of yeah. person and one type of graduation certificate because many people are better learning in many different settings yeah. and they need yeah. different teachers different environments yeah. and if they don't get what's suited for them they might have to go and take it somewhere else yeah. so that's why the discrimination is don't mind me saying if yeah I to share one quick thing about myself Eli's crazy. welcome to come at any time by the way okay. i keep telling him to come in anyway um uh so um, uh for me i um i moved around a lot as a kid and everything i think i mentioned this to you where he knows mm -hmm. this and uh for me so it's been hard making friends especially when mm -hmm. you go to high school mm -hmm. and everyone knows each other from elementary school and you know i'm not like i had a few people that you know gave me the benefit of the doubt they were really friendly in grade nine you know grade 10 was in eh, grade 11 it just started getting worse right as the years went on and then you know i actually ended up going home during lunch because i was oh. so miserable people would just put their backpacks and i was about to sit down 
on this on the you know the tables like a mean girl so it's just like mean girls mm -hmm. right when she's a new girl mm -hmm. i felt like katie heron all over again almost not quite to that extent it's it's cat it's yeah. Katty. it's katie yeah <laughs> katie where you know what i mean that's my favorite part. yeah so anyway i just felt that way and then in grade 11 i just decided enough is enough mm -hmm. you know what i'm already going home for lunch why not just be homeschooled i'm an only child so i was used to not having being around people my own age mm -hmm kids my own age, whatever you want to call it. So I, I just decided to go that route. My parents were supportive. And you know yeah. what, yeah. too? Um, after you decided to still go and do a college program, yeah. um, which is awesome because um, I find, honestly, mm -hmm. high school is, you know, a journey. But when you actually go and do um, post-secondary and, like, you f you future benefit yourself mm -hmm. that's when things really start to like like sink in like yeah. it starts to feel like high school was kind of like in the distance and this is like your new right. your new path your new journey yeah for um, sure. so is. i think no matter how you approach it or how you mm -hmm. get get to that yeah. as long as you're going in the right direction. direction or even if you just leave high school and decide that you're going to be career focused like sure, you sure. might um you know a lot of people that are very successful mm -hmm. I've actually I think Bill Bill Gates a university um, dropout mm -hmm. and Levine, high school right? dropout yeah, so many yeah. people that we look up yeah. to as mm -hmm. um icons that are really yeah. successful actually mm -hmm. did leave school mm -hmm. but they've become successful in their own just by building connections yeah you know they have to you have to work right. for it it's oh, not yeah. like you're never you're gonna have to work off, for it of course um, it might be the more difficult route uh -huh. in certain Maybe. situations, sure, but sure. Um, people do it. Oh, it's not impossible. So, Just have a little faith. Yeah. Just yeah. like with Bill Gates, even though he dropped out, he still went back and finished his school. Yeah, so what? It's not the be all end all. And you know what? Yeah. Like, people go to do their masters and their yeah. degrees when they're yeah. older, too. Oh, okay. Um, sure. I know people close to me that they they started off with one thing yeah and then they decided later on after having family and kids that maybe they wanted to go back right and they did and like good for them like especially when you're like uh 40 or 50 and you decide you want to go get your master's or your degree like how cool is that yeah you have a full adult life and you're yeah. saying sure. i'm not gonna look at this as age discrimination yeah. i'm not gonna I'm just gonna go and I want to go and learn more and do it for myself. Yeah. So I think it's so cool when oh, people is. go back to school. My, my dad had to do that actually. Mm -hmm. Accounting didn't work out for him, unfortunately. He, he had to change. go back in his 40s, go back to college and become a nurse. And speaking of that, we're going to get into gender <laughs> equality and the wages in the in the workforce. Today's workforce. We're gonna that's today's topic. And I just wanted to share that nursing, maybe back in the day, was considered a very feminine mm -hmm. career aspect. You know, mm -hmm. doctors, you could be a man, but nurses, yeah. mostly female, right? They yeah. assist the doctors, and my dad's a nurse. Yeah. So that would be discriminating um, against him. Also, like other hospital yeah. roles, like candy stripers and okay, people that yeah. generally did like the on floor, like caring for right. patients, like bringing food to patients, bringing medicine from right. doctors to patients was generally done by women. Right. And then when it came down to the actual medical side of things it yeah. was generally men yeah so it's mm -hmm. nice that we've come so far in society yeah. now if you walk into a hospital mm -hmm. you might have you have a female doctor approach you a female pediatrician you might yeah. have a male pediatrician sure. you might have yeah. a male nurse you might have a female surgeon like yeah, yeah. It's really great yeah. how it's evolved, true. and um, my true. mom's actually in the medical field. Right, so like my I dad should have brought her because like she's very dad. passionate about yeah, this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So um, anyway, my mom's in social work. Your boyfriend's in social yeah. work. But interestingly enough, yeah. And I mean, social work. A lot of people also consider that to be a female, in my opinion. I thought they considered it to be a female uh, career. Um, I thought. I think when yeah. it when it probably you're probably right when yeah. it comes to certain ther uh -huh. therapies. Yeah. Um, however, I do, oh, I do think now in society it's very balanced between mm -hmm. male and females. I actually currently in my friend circle have female friends that are doing it oh, and then I have, okay. so I think it's balanced now. Okay, cool. Um, I definitely, I do agree with you though with certain, with certain therapies, I think yeah. there used to be like, you know, like in the movies yeah. when she, the woman would put the glasses on and be like, let's talk about your marriage. So like that was always oh, played by a female. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I think people would see yeah. that as, oh, if marriage it's a counselor. divorce counselor or a marriage, yeah. it would have to be a female, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah. now we see a lot of males and I think that's partly because of media. Uh-huh, right? it's a media Because media mirrors an yeah. image of what we think is out there. Yeah, it's a stereotype. It can be blurry at Stereotypical, times. for sure. I mean, yeah. for me, I commend any females out there, by the way, if you're watching this show and you are a truck driver and you are a woman, 
driving a big ass truck. I'm sorry, I could never do that. You don't, die. girl. <laughs> I would. Gun to the head. If you do that, I highly commend you. If you are or, a woman police officer, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, firefighter. A, a woman do firefighter. Yeah. How they do it? I don't know. How do you do that? Like, yeah, there's um definitely. I think these jobs. There's a certain level of. Well, it takes a lot of, like, it, there's a certain level of fitness involved, there's a yeah. certain level oh, of, boy. like, to get through police oh, yeah. foundations, to That's get right. through, um, yeah. but I think, you're right, I think generally in the past, it, people would probably assume that, you know, the wife would stay home and the yeah. male would go to firefighting yeah. in one of those jobs. That's right. Um, yeah. But yeah, I do see, I do see a lot more women, like, uh, like motivated to go and do that. Yeah, taking on that like fitness role. Construction workers. Um, I don't know how you do that. I mean, I, I have no muscle, as you can see. I, can I think it's it. been changing for for yeah. quite some time. Like, yeah. I don't think this is new. Like, no. I think it's no. been changing. Yeah. For quite some 70s, time. Seventies, eighties, maybe perhaps. Yeah. Is my yeah. Guess. Yeah. But still in movies. Yeah. I'll just get back to media because yeah. that's what I what I know. Mm -hmm. Um, they're still showing in a lot of movies like. <laughs> Especially with, um, there's a movie I think Only the Brave that just came out. Okay. They yeah. show a lot of like those uh, firefighting type movies or those, I want to say they're kind of like manly right. movies. And yeah. in all of these movies, it's usually like the wife stays at home and yeah. she deals with all the emotional baggage from yeah. his job, right. his career, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's in the power role. Yeah. Yeah. But on the other hand, when you look at movies like Hidden Figures. I haven't even heard of that. I don't know. Oh, okay. It is so okay. strong yep. to, you know, females being able to have their right to vote. Yeah. It's a full, almost a full female cast. Like, right, right, right. so there is now, I want to say that I'm feeling more happy about the equality in society. I yeah, feel like, good. especially with, uh, like, they're really starting to kind of balance it out. Yeah, I think. no, it's good. It's good. We're, take, yeah. we're taking leaps and bounds. We're yeah. not 100% fully there yet, yeah, but I yet. think we're taking yeah. leaps and bounds in for the sure. right direction. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, anything else I can think of. I mean, uh, police firefighter and police officer, construction worker, I mean, being a female electrician, I think would be difficult. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I've met a lot of female oh, engineers. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. Like oh, aerospace ones. Oh. No, I'm not believe Or computer engineers. Yeah. Or computer engineers. Yeah, computer engineers. yeah. Computer yeah we see. Sure. I, I mean, especially, I guess at a college like Humber, you see a lot of computer engineers. Oh yeah, female. yeah. I used to go to Humber North a lot. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lot of, even Lakeshore too. You know, we see a lot of. Them. Yeah, you can yeah. see Some of them were at Lakeshore too. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. And also on the uh, male to female perspective, um, you see a lot of like. Uh, males also doing theater and doing yeah, things yeah, that you yeah. maybe like taking art classes right. or like things yeah. that you and maybe in the past they would have said yeah. uh, maybe just a woman would would paint or a massage or therapist, or a massage therapist. therapist. Right? right so yeah, it's yeah. kind of both ways now yeah, um, yeah. genders are starting to be more open on either side um, and they're trying things yeah you know? yeah so exactly great. so that puts I like that because it puts an image out there for other people and motivates them that hey, if this guy can do that, that's not that doesn't make him lame. No. Like maybe I could go and try that. Or yeah. wow, if that woman uh -huh. really goes for it, yeah. hey, I can be a woman like that in society. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. it, it really does help motivate others and yeah. inspire others to do that. As well, female so. directors speaking in the industry, the mm -hmm. entertainment industry, the Hollywood. I mean, I'm, I mean, they're finally, you know, Hollywood's wanting to welcome a lot more diversity and everything, yeah. which is. Yeah, yeah, which is good up to a certain point, which is it's always have a good have a healthy balance. But you know, they used to be unheard of in the industry. All male directors, all male producers. You know, production yeah. was mostly, I guess, male, and I guess the females are mostly actresses. You mm -hmm. know, that were, you know, that do, that do the sex scenes. Now speaking you know? of the industry, I don't know if you want to get into the Harvey Weinstein. Oh, stuff. we we, uh, we talked about that. I think yeah. we did. Yeah, a couple uh, episodes. I guess we did. So yeah. I heard today in class that okay. um, I guess he's taking uh, therapy right now. Is he? Mm -hmm. Oh, counseling. He's trying to heal. Really? Uh, he's oh, starting yeah. to sort of come full circle and realize all okay. the damage he did really? to people. Okay. Um, which is a good a good yep. first step forward. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I think maybe like therapy might be the right choice for him because uh -huh. when you okay you can lock someone up yeah, for yeah. life, yeah, yeah. but yeah. maybe it's also good to give people a chance Benefit to realize what they've yeah. done. Sure. It's disgusting, but sure. give them a chance to take yeah. that mental break, sure. take that time yeah. from the industry, and like. Yeah. Really realize uh -huh. how many people's lives he's damaged, Impacted. how yeah. many relationships, yeah. you know, he's yeah, sure. um, 
and this might be good for him. So anyways, he recently uh, sent an apology out really? oh, uh, wow. to a celebrity. Okay. Um, can't remember who it is right now. Oh, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, yeah. He sent out to her basically saying um, she, okay, uh, a few, like, what, this is way in the past. Uh, she was on set with him and she was in a car for a scene and it was unsafe. And she oh, was. Okay. She knew that the car was unsafe, okay. and she knew that the car might crash. Okay. Yeah. But she was getting paid quite a bit of money, oh, and so okay. the directors and Harvey said, uh -huh. "We're gonna continue. We're gonna okay. go with it." Oh boy. Okay. And she wasn't feeling a hundred percent right about she it. She wasn't feeling safe. She wasn't safe. Oh, okay. But she, she was like, she was tr and trusting in these in them. Right. Um, yeah. And she ended up crashing into oh, like a post, okay. oh, like really crap. hard, oh, no. and her legs got like strapped underneath, oh, and they goodness. had to like remove yeah. her legs. Yeah. Um, and and ever since she's had serious injury in her legs, and it hasn't gone away, and it's been years. Oh, Harley yeah. recently, um, yeah. he also treated her nasty on set. She could have sued. Oh, I'm gonna sue. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah I think me. some. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think yeah. there was suing to really? some degree. I see. But yeah. recently, Harvey. I sent her a letter uh -huh. basically oh, apologizing oh, yeah. for how he treated her on set, oh. how nasty he was to oh. her, whatever else happened between see, them. He, he apologized. This was leaked recently. Okay. And she, her response was, wow, thank you, Harvey. I can see the therapy is finally working. Well, that's good. And she wrote a, a letter basically saying, okay. if he's willing to start apologizing, then yeah. clearly at least the therapy is it's something sinking in and his uh -huh. like, while he's doing that therapy and maybe yeah. he's starting to realize like yeah. it's all he feels guilt, he has yeah. a conscience. So at good. least at least yeah. that's a, a thumbs, thumbs up, up. That's good. for the Harvey Weinstein thing because yeah. a lot of people are yeah. saying a lot of negative judging stigma judging. around it right Judgment. now. So at least we know that yeah. something good is kinda of coming yeah. out of it. So. I mean, I'm not. I'm not excusing behavior like oh, that. No, 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 Don't no, get me no, wrong. No, no. I'll just no. put my 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 take on it. Is um, yeah, like like you're saying, it's a it's a compassionate approach. It is instead of taking the judgmental approach. But you don't you don't know what the guy went through growing up. Honestly, you when I first heard family. about all the women that he yeah. had assaulted, I yeah, yeah. thought, oh my god, lock him up. I yeah, hate yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. kill him. Like yeah. I was so like, okay. Ugh. Yeah. But recently, yeah. I've thought about it, and like, if he is actually willing to change if uh -huh. he has gone somewhere and yeah. he's going to take intensive therapy and he's uh -huh. going to actually stick to it uh -huh. and if yeah. something good comes out of it and it yeah. changes his character uh -huh. he it will take a long time for him to come back and he might never be in the industry uh -huh. again true true but yeah. it's the healing i think that matters yeah i mean maybe he was maybe he was molested as a kid you don't know that you don't know right you don't know that you don't we know only hear through. certain things in the media yeah, but we don't right. always get the full picture you don't it's just people so. judging humans love to judge each other we love to not look at the wrongs well, media points out yeah, negative right yeah it's too everyone. bad yeah media sure. likes to like when you watch the news honestly yeah. how much of it is happy how I much know. of it is it's all negative it's, it's, it's all negative because they have a system right and they only have to give you a small percentage of yeah. good stuff like yeah. well, Pretty much the chart, you got like three quarters is all bad. Yeah. And then you have that one little section, world news, one little section, sports, happiness, weather, <laughs> middle finger. That, that's how it works. Right. Yeah, right. There we go. Um, right. And I think sometimes I think we think that the most like dramatic, depressing stories make the best news. Yeah, yeah. Because it yeah. allows people. I don't know. I don't know what it is about society, but we tend to really get hooked on these types of stories that make us go, ah. I don't know what it is. We got, we got yeah. a distraction from our own lives, I guess. Is what it I is. think sometimes yeah. we think that the sunny rainbow type ah, stories just seem yeah. not real yeah. because of what we've been around yeah. our whole life. Yeah, so, could be. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, um, anything you want to add? Right, we've been doing most of the talking. The females have been doing monopolizing. Yeah, no, seems I'm like just, a good I'm, listener. I'm yes. Finish it off. Yes. Um, I don't know, but for me, I, don't really, I haven't really faced a lot of, I guess, discrimination in the workplace per se. Right. But. Not sexism, you mean? You mean oh, no, sexism, oh. I, I can say it all. Oh. I worked in all-female oh, kitchen. Right. So okay. that, that I can, un, I can, okay. I don't have a lot of crap at that place. Okay. And I ended up having to quit because they kept pushing me to leave oh, this job. Oh, wow. Right? Okay. So I left the job, yeah. and then two days later, the boss comes to my door, uh -huh. begged me to take the job. I said he'd <laughs> fire everybody if I took the job back. Because he wanted what? to give me the chain of restaurants. He's he oh. no sons or nothing, right? I was like, the you didn't have any sons, you know, English. Okay, let me grammar. Finish. Yes. Okay. I didn't have anyone. I'm like, yes. nah, I, I, I'm good. I'm not coming back for minimum wage job. Well, I don't blame you. Good for you. Good for you. Right? Because yeah. the thing is, was, mm -hmm. like, it was like that kitchen. A few of the ladies are nice, but the main supervisor, she was just yeah. a total so and so. Yeah, she, oh, boy. she was just yeah. annoying. 
Okay. But it's the same with like a lot of restaurants. So you try and apply for front of house. If you're not a woman, right? Most of the time you're not gonna get front of house. Oh boy, that sucks. It's gotta be annoying. It, it's true. Yeah. And I've worked in the industry what since I was like um, 15, 16. Yeah. yeah. Hotels. Yeah, restaurants, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even hospitality. The, even yeah. the 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 last one I was at, same thing. None of the management. Mm -hmm. Either in the way it worked, none of the management were men. Maybe like six or seven of the men, but the rest of the management, all females, rest mm -hmm. of all the front house agents, all female, all the customer oh, service, boy. all female. Right, right. I, yeah. I feel like in today's society, yeah. a lot of these minimum wage jobs, mm -hmm. you are just in, like you're just another number. Robot, um, robot almost. And uh, yeah. with technology up and coming, a lot yeah. of things are taking over those yeah. positions. And I feel. Yeah. I feel like to be really appreciated now, mm -hmm. we need to become entrepreneurs. We need yeah. to start up our own business. Self-employment. We need to take yeah. control because yeah. exactly. so many times you're working under a boss. That's who just right. Takes, yeah. And when you're gone, they they might say, oh, come back, come back. They realize that you were valuable. Um, but how nice is it to yeah. be able to like do something like a radio show and say, yeah. Yeah. this is my thing every week. Yeah, exactly. I run it. Yeah. I get to put how I feel out there. Yeah. Um, nobody tells you guys like you know what you can and can't say. Mm -hmm. So the, yeah. I think we're becoming more of a society of mm -hmm. entrepreneurs yeah. and like starting up our own things. Self employment, and, yeah. and that's that's basically because we're sick and tired. Of we're being, sick and tired of being treated like um, robots, and not, not people, not being appreciated. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, and honestly, if you can do something you love. Yeah, and yeah. either like get the same amount of money. Yeah, and why not do something you love? Yeah, I would rather be d pursuing this and doing what I love and yeah. making it into a good career yeah. than doing a mind numbing job where yeah. I'm not going to be happy and yeah. um, it's just a mind not going to be appreciated. Like this way too, too short. short. Too short. Now, yeah. however, yeah. I say that, but I know a lot of people that are doing fine and uh -huh. they work oh, yeah. these jobs and they stay yeah. in them and they raise a family and they're doing know, and I'm, for them. I'm happy yeah, for them. The credit. But yeah. I do think the world is changing. It is. Oh yeah, absolutely. I do think it is. It's good to go and do training. It's good to go and get your education. But it's also yeah. just like good to get out there and yeah, and start seeing what you can do on independently. Yeah, exactly. And on your own independence. Um, I mean, yeah, and just what it is. Yeah, form groups. Your own and creativity. Just get out there, and yeah. that's why our industry is so awesome yeah. because we can just like. We could start up a podcast if we wanted YouTube. to. We could write, we could write a short channel. story and turn it into a short film. Yeah, and yeah. Thanks to our technology now, we yeah. can just put all that out there. And like, exactly. And yeah, there's um, a lot of free apps to even do that, like, for, do, yeah. like produce your own short film. Mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, now another thing, if you don't mind me adding in my <laughs> two cents about the whole self-employment, not wanting to be under the thumb of somebody, you know. Yes. Um, there's a song which I love. I don't know if you, you guys have heard of this thing. She has the same last name as me, Sabrina Carpenter. I've heard of her because oh, of you. Oh, yeah, I mentioned her. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And she came her. up on YouTube. Like all the time, you mentioned yeah, yeah. her. Like okay, you open her big, laptop and all this. Okay, okay. Bing, 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 I am bing, obsessed bing, with bing, her. She's a few years younger than me. She's young. Yeah, she. I, I look up to this you know girl. She's young. I have some people I'm obsessed with. Okay, okay. Me. Anyway, so she made this song called Thumbs. Now I don't know if you, you've heard it. If, if I could play it right now on my phone, I, I don't want to be copyright <laughs> of the show and everything. But she just saying, you know, and they all just work and do get paid the very same, and so they keep. Oh, you know, twirling your thumbs, boredom. They're right. just bored. It goes oh, around a vicious cycle. Cool. She's talking about people that you know. You think you're gonna make it up to the CEO, or you think you're gonna make it big to this top company. And people do it. Yes, but you're right. all those employees working together. You know, under the same thing, making I the do, same amount of money. That's I do saying. also think you know if you if you are good at making connections, yeah, and you can climb the ladder, yeah, yeah, that is a very um, good way. To take a job like that and yep. turn it into something better. Uh -huh. It's like the yep. glass is half full, right? Sure. If sure. you really do enjoy working in customer service, yeah. try to get into management. Yeah, true. It's, true. it's it works for some people, um, and then other people, it's easier to find different. Like to be independent. And I think yeah. that's what's so special about it is that we all have a different um, take on it. We all have a different route. So I wouldn't yeah. judge. I would not judge a person that stays in one of those jobs for a long time because maybe that person does that's that's good for them and, and they're, they're happy content. you know they're content and if you're content then what's better than just being content true. with your life you that's know? true yeah. but there's other people that would say yeah. no i need more yeah. you know i need to go and um this isn't my style i uh -huh. need to yeah. fulfill my my dreams my, in some my other way um yeah. 
So yeah, I just think we're all different. I like the work and, and uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Work and family balance, work and pleasure balance, whatever the word I is. I strongly know. like family is like really in pleasure. Like yeah, or so friends, bad. family, whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yes. Friends can be like family in some instances. Yeah. I've experienced it. So, you know, if you're always working all the time, you can never hang out with your friends. This is why we lose connection in society. We don't have the time to hang out anymore. We don't, we have, we go behind our screens, we text message each other, we don't pick up the phone, we don't make the time to call I've people. Found I, I prefer anymore. to call people. I'm a right? caller, Me too. actually, myself. I have this one friend who all he does is call me, and sometimes <laughs> oh. it's about nothing. He'll call me for like five, <laughs> six hours. He just talks me and talks to the singer on speaker to sleep. Is that the Do one you know that got the money on the train? The money no, the not, train? Not, oh. not him. Oh, somebody else. Hey, okay. That one day, okay. right? George. Hello, George Marcella. Marcella. Or George Thanks Marcella. Thanks for watching. Okay, Thank you. Day. Yes. <laughs> Go on. I wasn't saying, no, I mean, that, that's a totally different person okay. from Chile. Oh, awesome. nice to oh, I know who that is. Okay. Um, okay. No, that's not him. The guy who who okay. left his money on the train and who yes, tends to walk around to say you have like thousands of dollars in he's cash. He's hilarious. He's, a, he's another part. He's, okay. But this man, he deals yeah. with so much sexism at work okay. that they treat him like garbage okay. for being clumsy and a man. His entire wow. office is all female. Oh, no. With the exception of, I think, one or two, two male supervisors. Mm -hmm. But because he's not a woman, he doesn't get the good hours. The good work. Oh boy. He gets all the grunt work. Oh, and the, and no. the girls get all the food, the lunches, oh, and he gets the, wow. you know, pretty much to bend them over on the table and lube them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Pre pretty much. I feel yeah. bad for him at the same time. Yeah. But I'm like, well, that's what happens. You didn't want to go to school because he's against OSAP, but at the same time, wow. he spends more money than he makes. This guy burned, what, 40000 bucks in one year, the year I met him. Oh. La okay. Last year, the year before. He yeah. spends like seventy thousand on his girlfriend's old stuff. Oh, him! Yeah. Oh, is that the animal um, killer? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 not the animal sorry, killer. Sorry, I'm no, getting no, no, confused. No, 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 no. You got so many from sorry. Okay, right, my this bad. guy, I'm like, you okay. dished out like over a hundred grand yeah. between pretty much you and your girlfriend. And you have nothing oh. to show for it, but then you complain to me every day, oh, I need to get a career and something I, like, but you're not oh, going gosh. to school. I think yeah. some people too. I have to like, I have friends that do that too, and I, I. I think that um, some people just don't know how to save, or they've never been they've they've never been told like this is how you need to manage your money. True. This is what you need to do yeah, when you get out there. Right. Yeah. Since I so it's that. it's kind yeah. of um it's one of those things where um they're just kind of put out there in the world yeah. and it hits yeah. them really really fast. Hits you fast. And yeah. um, you kind of have to learn sometimes on your own. That's so right. yeah. I think as long as you're always if you're making mistakes, I think as long as yeah. you're learning from them and you're trying not to do as many of the negative ones over and over again, then you're, right. do, you're doing all right. You're learning from your mistakes. Um, but yeah, I think we, we all come from different backgrounds. We all are raised differently. Yeah, Some of us right. um, have different levels of school. So I think we don't all know how to... Um, to manage life and money yeah, and savings. It's hard. Yeah, you kind of learn as you go. I met a lot of people who still don't know how to boil eggs. And like, yeah. Oh, like, boy. Like, there is some, some of my friends don't yeah. don't know how to cook or yeah. be on their own, but they're yeah. learning and they're trying yeah. and they're starting to, um, t to get it. And I think as you go along, and especially in your 20s, your 20s yeah. is like the big time to learn. It is. Um, <laughs> once you get out of your 20s, you can usually yeah. leave saying, hey, I when, when I was 21, I did not know everything that I know now, and yeah. I'm soaring into the 30s with at least more to yeah. just go forward. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess it depends yeah. on your situation too. True. Yeah. Your background, your upbringing, whatever. It know. does. Yeah. I, I just it, some things are common sense, but then again, um, not everybody. Uh, I don't want to say not everyone has common. Sense. Oh dear. Um, okay. Nah, you, you they just could, don't you always know, them, you know. You know, you might assume everybody knows um, how to how to do how to go to school. You might assume yeah. everybody knows what a, what a certain savings account is, but yeah. somebody might have no idea. And then yeah. you teach them, and they're like, exactly. "Hey, now I know, now right?" I know. So, if I could just mention one thing, speaking yeah. about women, by the way. Now I don't quite know my history well enough to have a very long speech and elaborate on this topic, but Margaret Thatcher. 
one of the many prime ministers of oh, England. Ding dong, the witch is gone. Yes, ding dong, the witch is gone. We'll be thankful for Margaret Thatcher, all right? You better be thankful. You better be grateful. Okay. Thank okay. you, dear. Lovely. Anyway, continuing on. So, Margaret Thatcher, she was one of the women who actually made it possible for people who have British mothers, like myself, to get a British passport so that we can be eligible for British citizenship. Wow. And I believe she started this, I think, now I could be mistaken, in the early 80s. I believe it was around 1980, I believe, and they, they changed the rules, but they're saying 1983 onwards, they are saying that as long as you have a British mother, and there used to be was only people who have British fathers would be eligible for British citizenship. So if it wasn't for Margaret Thatcher right now, I would never be able to get my British citizenship. Did you really I have guess to say. No, dear, I haven't had the time. You keep your mouth shut. Okay. Have you gotten your citizenship, your Swedish citizenship, oh, Mr. Know-it-all? Anyway, enough about him. He's just jealous because he doesn't have my citizenship. Don't worry about him. He's a funny bloke. A funny bloke indeed. She loves it. I'm a She's choking bloke. Oh, yes, yes, you're a choking bloke. You choked on your old water. Enough about that. Anyway, I just wanted to thank Margaret Thatcher. I don't think she's still alive. She passed away, I'm sure. But if she was still alive to this day and watching this show, I would be honored to have her as a guest speaker. There we go. That brings up a new yes. question. If you could pick anybody, um, living or dead, to bring on the show as a guest speaker, who yes. would you choose? This That's question a good question. Okay. Going uh, back to normal accents. Oh, you go first, Mr. Bloke. No, go, go. I, okay. I, I gotta okay. think. You, you, you guys go. All right, if you want to sort off and think, that's fine by me. All right. Um. Well, the dead person, let's see. I would probably, as, as cheesy or corny as this may sound, I would have my grandmother. Aww. Even though she passed away, she's not famous, but she's like an angel in my life. And she's in a better place now. She was suffering from leukemia when uh, she, she went. Oh, and so actually, believe it or not, she could have actually lived longer, but she was in so much pain, she told the doctor, stop giving me my treatment. I want to go. She could have been alive to this day she, if she continued. She could have she's been. She's peaceful now. She is. She's not in pain anymore, right? She's not suffering anymore. That's the way yeah. that I look at it. But that's one person. Oh, a celebrity. I gotta think. Oh, a celebrity who passed away. Um, oh, you might go ahead. Yeah. Uh, is a real person, also from a book. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, also, uh, did not survive the Holocaust. Okay. Um, I would have had Anne Frank here. Oh, okay. 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 Um, that's, that's a good one. My whole, uh, when I was younger, I, I always read uh, her diary and okay. um, it was obviously horrible what happened to her and her yeah. family. Um, but just like, being able to sit with her and talk to her about what she went through. Um, she was such, like, for a 12 to 14 year old, she was 12 or 13, mm -hmm. 14, um, yep. she was such a knowledgeable brain. She was. She, yeah. I, at, at, at 12, I was so inspired yeah. reading her and listening yeah. to her life and yeah. not just what she went through, but the way she looked at life. She had this um, optimism mm -hmm. yeah. that was so contagious. Yeah. yeah. And I always try to be optimistic and, and, and as positive as um, she was. And and she also had a situation that right. terrible. <coughs> going on around her. Ghostly situation, just ghostly. She was the one that made the whole family smile. She yeah. was the one that stayed strong mm -hmm. and like being that age and being able to keep it together that well and being able to have such yeah, an amazing optimism yep. to me is really yeah. inspiring. So I would have liked to bring Did her Did you see her movie? Her. They made it in 2003, I believe it was. Or maybe it was the late 90s. Yes. You saw okay. the movie where there was um, nudity and everything? I, the, yeah, I, concentration I think they showed us at school. In color. It was long, yeah. really long. Yeah. It's like the, have you ever seen the uh, the boy in the striped pajamas? No, actually. No. If, no. You're, no. if you're ever interested in watching a show that mm -hmm. really shows the concentration camps the holocaust oh, yeah. and the life yeah. um this was a little boy who came from a wealthy background oh wow and he nice. got mixed up with a boy that was living in a concentration camp oh dear oh, no he no. wanted to play with him and go on the other side of the fence okay and he got okay. trapped in the little boy's oh, um, oh. thing and oh, crap. he ended up dying what? on the other side of the fence what? Yeah, it's so it's um oh. it's about like even when you even maybe if you weren't from a Jewish uh, background you could be affected by it as well. Okay. Cuz he right, was right, of course. Well, he yeah, was yeah. German. Interesting. But, but that just goes yep. to show the severity yep. of the concentration camps. Yep. The severity like yep. two extremely innocent child mm -hmm. even though they were from completely different backgrounds, they both died in a country where they should have never even mm -hmm. been. Mm -hmm. So it's just very sad. It really shows you the severity mm -hmm. of what uh 
what really went on. Yeah, like they, in the so. movie, they did it so well. They had the barbed wire at the top. I believe it was electrical. The fence was ele electricity, yeah. so you could you get shot. Yeah, I don't know. He, I think he dug a hole yeah. to just play with the other kid, and they were yeah. just innocent kids. And it was it was awful. Um, and you know, millions, millions of people. And yeah. my 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 best friend is actually Jewish. And oh um, yeah. Carly, oh, my heart. Oh. Carly, yes, hello, and Carly. She, hi, yes. Carly. And she actually has, um, she, I think she may have had really distant relatives. Really? Oh wow. Okay. Wow. It's just so yeah. sad to see the impact, and still yeah. today people are talking about the severity of it. It's just one of those things that never went away. But for some reason, I, I, I like studying it and and learning more because it's just like. With something like that, you hope would never, like a genocide like that, you hope mm -hmm. would never happen again to them. Hope to God. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. no. Yeah. I heard, just, uh, don't, this is just a side note, I actually yes. heard Hitler's grandmother was Jewish. I heard. Did you hear about He that? has Jewish descent. I heard. That's, yeah, what, he made, Jewish that's heard what made that. the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a good public speaker. He uh -huh. had a few things going for him. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the Charismatic. hate, and yeah. it just overruled him. Actually, he, he committed suicide, I thought. Sorry, this is a dark topic. Oh, yeah, he did. But he did. He I did. thought he did. It, uh, yeah, yeah. His shame. Shame. He must have had shame. I think hate right? is one of those things, once it comes over, yeah. it does a lot of destruction. Oh, he has guilt. He um, must have been guilty, right? Why else do that? That's the way I look at it. Yeah. You want to go on about oh, people that have passed away? I can't think no, of No, I was saying, related, to, related to that is, um, my, I had an old history teacher back at one of my high schools, I think my second or third, I don't remember. This guy was so obsessed with Hitler. Inside his classroom, the man had pictures, had like a little, I don't know, shrine and stuff. Oh. He said he wanted to have dinner with Hitler, if Hitler was still alive, call him a genius. I'm like, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay, man. He's my history teacher, too. I'm like, well, okay, no, I, I, I'm not going to judge you, but yeah. that's very, very weird very. in that sense. I mean, yeah. And if you think about it, yeah, he did a lot of things too that were weren't as bad, like the autobahn and stuff. Okay, but I, you know, this is gonna sound bad, but oh, okay. I, it would be interesting though to to sit and talk to him to understand what went on in his mind. Yeah, you I know? know. I've always right? when I study the yeah. Holocaust, I've always yeah. took myself yeah. back and been like, why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Um. So to, just just to sit with him and ask him uh, why. Like psychology. What, right? what was happening psychology. up here? Why did you think yeah. it would be better for the economy? Yeah, yeah. What made you? What was yeah. your process? Like, why did you motives? think this was the way to do it? That's weird. Um, yeah. but he obviously it happened, so there was obviously something ticking up there. Weird. That made him it's do weird. It. Yeah. So it'd be weird. interesting psych psychologically to get in there. People thought he's a sociopath. Some people, even if they could just somehow open up Hitler's yeah. old brain and yeah, just show you the psychological waves yeah, and yeah. figure out what was going on in there. Yeah. Well, we're approaching the end of our show. Okay. Quickly, can so, I quickly interject? Yeah, uh, Princess go, go, Diana, go, go, go. speaking of British, in 1997, just over 20 years ago, lovely Princess Diana passed, passed away, and she is the one person that I would love to meet or have as a guest speaker if mm. she was still alive. Um, thank you for sharing Princess that. Diana. My mother looked up to her, my grandmother. <laughs> I was three years old. I gave away my age the day that she passed away. And I would remember being in a hospital when Princess Diana passed away. I actually see it on the screen. We were in a hospital for some reason. I think my mother was going to visit the doctor or my grandmother, and we saw Princess Diana passing wow. on the TV. I remember That's this cool. to this day, 97. It's like when yes. it's totally not yes. relatable, but when people saw Terry Fox actually running by their house, and they oh, were yeah. like, yeah. Oh my gosh, they were actually there for the moment, which is really cool. Indeed. Okay, so okay. now let's wrap, we have to wrap our show yes. up. Yes. Oh, book. I know she wanted oh, to mention uh, a book, but we don't have time, yeah, don't have but time it's time okay. No yeah. worries. I was going to just pose okay. a question out there oh, for okay. the viewers. Yes. Um, I'm reading a book called Can I Kiss You, you which is a, it's a, it's a very amazing uh, book. It's a thought-provoking book on relationships, intimacy, and sexual assault. And I'm going to leave you with a question. Um... Do you think it is romantic to ask someone if they would like a kiss? Interesting. Okay, we'll leave the show up that okay. question. <laughs> uh, answer your okay. um yeah, answer that question in the comments below. That's and cool. We'll see what you guys say. We'll we'll talk about it in the next episode. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yes. That's another book to check okay. out. Yes. And remember to follow <laughs> follow our frequency five channels on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. And Instagram. Yes. If you have any suggestions for shows or if you want to sponsor us, contact the station at 647-857-4454 or at frequency5fm at gmail.com. 
Yes. And you can also contact us, contact us on our social medias. My Instagram is RainAnnKumar31. Mine is Emily C. Official. And do you want to give it for Yeah, uh, mine's Haley Nora. If you want to check it out, I'm doing acting too. So. Okay, yeah. and thanks you guys for tuning in. Thank we'll you see you so later. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye-bye.